Marelo. Made it through, made it through, made it through. And everything I gave to you, I gave to you, I gave to you. You got it, you got it, you got it. It's coming. So are you ready? live and direct from Ghana, of course. Mm -hmm. We are in the uh, Cantonments Estates. Uh, the area is Cantonments. And we're here for the uh, W.E.B. Dubois Pan-African Museum. Yeah, we're so excited to yeah. be here. You guys can hear the music in the background. Yep. And we just saw it looked like maybe some tables were fed, uh, set up a moment ago. Yeah. So we're very excited to explore this area. Yes, yes. And um, from here, we're gonna go to Labadi Beach. Mm -hmm which is about a 10 minute drive from here. So you guys can see uh, one of Africa's most beautiful beaches. Yes. And um, we're very hungry right now. So hopefully they have some food in here. Yes. But uh, the US Embassy is actually about 10 feet away from us, mm -hmm. actually a couple feet away from yeah. us. So hopefully we can get at least a picture of the building. They don't want photography, yeah. but um, we're having a blast. As you see, uh, we're very tan. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, that's right. Do you guys see, I have a division on my forehead. My head wrap was like down here yesterday yeah. and I laughed so hard because I've never had a head wrap, head wrap uh, tan before. Yeah, so, <laughs> but we're, we're super excited, super glad to be here. We only have a couple more days. Yeah. Um, after today, we'll be getting ready ready to head on down to Cape Coast mm -hmm. for Elmina and the uh, Kakum National Park. So we're, we're real excited, but we'll take you guys inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see, let's see. Okay guys, so we're here outside the Dubois uh, Memorial Center here in Ghana, West Africa. Um, many people don't know that uh, W.B. Dubois actually died here in Ghana, uh, and I believe he's actually still buried here. So this is a memorial museum that kind of talks about the history of him, the history of his connection to Ghana, and being one of the uh, fathers of Pan-Africanism. So we're super excited. Let's head on inside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Dr. William Edo was was born in 1868 in Bay Barrett, Massachusetts. Yes. He was born to parent Mary Pegat, father of Alfred, who was a French African American. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Boys grew up to become a sociologist, a civil rights activist, and a politician. Mm -hmm. And he came to Ghana in 1961 under the invitation of our first president, Dr. Kwame. Mm -hmm. So he was 93 years by then, and he was given this house as a Wow, this is where he lived yes, actually. This wow, that just gave me chills. So where we are now standing used to be is not Joyce Hall, which is now a Pan Africanist gallery. So you see pictures of heroes and heroes of Pan Africanism. Mm -hmm. Pan Africanism on the world. Hey you guys, so we are in the study right now. Um this is the home that WB Du Bois um used to live in, but it is now a study. You can come in here and do research. Um the curator just told us and I just as soon as I came in I noticed right up here you have roots. Alex Haley Roots. Blueprint for Black Power, Africa. Oh, Maya Angel. Ah. Can you buy these books or no? Oh, I wish you. <laughs> I wish you could buy them. Say that again. Oh, okay. Washington and Martin Luther King. Oh, wow. So, this is a section of Great Pan African history. Wow. 
great African leaders. These were the leaders who liberated the various African countries. Okay. The exception of President Barack Obama, the first black president of America. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the Jomo Kenyatta, the first president of Kenya. Oh yeah, Jomo Kenyatta. Yes. Okay. And that is Nelson Mandela, the first president of South Africa. And that is Patrice Lumumba, the first president of Congo. This year is to be his worst room. So it's on top, this is exactly how it looks like. The living tap, the sink, and the water closet. Bathtub! That's a bathtub. Is it going to sit down in it like cool? Yes, yep. but we can't use it. It's not in use, okay? Come. Why can't we sit down in it? It's just an exhibit. The water doesn't run, it's an exhibit. This tapestry was given to Dr. Miguel by then. Chinese government on his 91st birthday. Wow. Yes. And this room here used to be his closet when he kept his feet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So unfortunately, we are not having lights on there. This had to be That was to document everything. But unfortunately, he passed on before it was completed. So this one's was published in memory of Dr. Du Bois by the Department of Women. And these files here were awards he received from. This is the Lining Peace Award, and this was given to him by the World Peace Council. So this year is also a certificate he obtained from Great Barrington High School. Okay. This is the head of the bus. It's called a bus when they make a, a design from your a person's face. It's kind of like a picture. Does it look like a bus not a, not a bus like a bus driving, but a bus <laughs> with a team. <laughs> That's a person's face. Where are you? Still work. This, this, this are. So, Dr. Du Bois was the first black to be honored at the Harvard University. The first? Yes, the first. The first black. So, this happened is down here. He attended Fitz University, Harvard University, and the University of Berlin as well. This happened all those things here. This were honorary degrees he obtained. This from the University of Ghana in 1963. And this is from Howard University and this from Fix University. It's our own data. They didn't even have that with this Daddy, you have an office at home. I do, not this big though. It's library of Dr. Du Bois. We are currently working on the books. They came to Ghana with 1,500 books. 1,500 books. Wow. It's right there. Wow. It's right there. 1,500 books. And some are over 200 years. Some are very old. Wow. Yes. And this particular section are books Dr. Du Bois wrote. He wrote 28 books. You're not here, Reptile, the third time. Oh, they're pretty, pretty guys. Look at this book. Wait a minute, here she is. <laughs> it is so exciting. Hand it to her. Give it to her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now it's yours. These are yours. These are yours for the money. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is our postcard. Thank you. <laughs> information that we learned that we didn't know about um, Dr. Um, W.B. Du Bois and um, it was just very wonderful being in this environment of like-minded people that are about unity for our, our community and um, we can't wait for you guys to see more that's in store.
Okay guys, so we're actually headed to the U.S. Embassy here in Ghana. Actually right across the street from it. I'm hoping there's a post office that we can send some. Uh, we always get a postcard wherever we travel to. Hopefully they have a post office. Hello you guys. We are headed to La Ladi Beach right now. We're waiting for our Uber. And um, we're also doing what, Libby? <laughs> Dancing. Still dancing. Mm -hmm. We just can't stop dancing. It's something about the music. Oh, this might be our Uber, maybe.
How's the how's the jollof rice, guys? Spicy. It must not be too bad, Liberty. I said it must not be too bad. Okay. Baby, careful where you're going. 